Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. And today we are a bit late. Uh, you know, it's December and it's December. So what's really happening? Uh, nothing much. Nothing much. But I liked the, the reversals on the market. So what's really happening on uh, today's economic calendar? I can see or you can see that on the chart here, so on the e-calendar, it's Thursday. You can see that half past three today we have a GDP and unemployment claims or jobless claims that can actually move the market a little bit. Uh, Friday we see PCE and GDP for Canada. I don't think we're going to see the market going crazy here. So next week, guys, I think it's just full of holidays. And you know what? We're not going to get uh, much of a movement and which means it's that time for you to relax. We need to relax, right? So what's really happening? What's really happening? Yes, we have some, like today it's what, 2021. 20, we left with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10 days. So you know what we're going to do here? We have a very quick uh, update for you. We have a quicker special, actually five, a 10 day special. What we're going to do is we no longer count this. But from all this, you can save $100. For six months, you can pay $100. For 12 months, you can pay $150. For lifetime, you can pay $250. Then you can scan this QR code or use the numbers here or check the link uh, in my description to be part of that team. For, for those who still want to join mentorship, it's still available for $350. So, so let's push to the, to the market and see what's really happening. Let's see what's really happening. Um, ah, here one. I did not even open my chat. Uh, things are things are tough. Things are tough. So I hope you are doing great, guys. I hope you are doing it. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget to smash that subscribe if you are new to this channel. So what's really happening? Yeah, we can see that on a daily time frame, this is DXY, dollar index. Uh, we know the strength of the dollar because of DXY, or you can check other pairs, but this is the pure uh, dollar index. Uh, you can use, uh, uh, use it as an indicator, and it works very well. It works very well, but just know that it is not like 100% uh, going to correlate with everything that has to do with the dollar. You have to understand that. So uh, now we can see that the market is on a downtrend. So you can see that the market is downtrending. Previously, the market was uptrending. So one way or another, there is a chance that the market can easily reach this area. You can see the lowest area that we have there. There is a stronger support or the lowest that we had uh, in a quite uh, long. So it's where the market reversed. And if the market is going to take, uh, it's going to reach there, it's going to take some like some time. Maybe January, Feb there, the market can still reach there. The market can still reach that level. So, yeah, we are on this uh, downtrend. Aggr it's not really that aggressive because uh, there is a few people who are actually active in the market, especially around these times. Especially around this time. But what we have here is quite the same as what we saw yesterday, what I showed you days before that. So the market is on this uh, resistant. And now you can see that the market is respecting this. So I'm expecting the market to play around there before we see a proper push. Maybe next of next week. Let's say second week of January or maybe first week. We're going to see the market doing something. Now, I don't really see the market going crazy. And remember, this week is just the last week where we're going to have proper uh, economic news, like fundamentals. So we're not going to have any after that, after, after this week. Until January, maybe the second week, first or the second week, mostly. So I see the market pushing lower. We are on this downtrend. I'm expecting the market to respect this level. And then we can see maybe the market pushing lower. So which shows that, yes, the dollar might be playing games here, but we are still on a on a downtrend on a DXY. Now we are on an uptrend. We don't really have to complicate what we have here. You can see that uh, we have a proper support area on the bottom side. You can see that. So we have boom, 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 boom. Something like this. 
So I'm expecting the market to respect here. If the market is going to consolidate, we just have to use common sense. The market, if it doesn't really push the upside, the market might just play around this area until we reach this point of support. But even where we are now, we are on a support, but I'm expecting maybe the market will just respect the market and start to push the upside. I hope you understand what I'm trying to show you. I hope you understand. So I already have a buy pending order. Why? Because you can see we have these points there. So it's easier for me to say, you see the third point there? We might start to see quite similar push like this yes sometimes we can be wrong the market might consolidate but at the end of the day i'm still expecting to see the market pushing to the upside even if you go on a four hours time frame why why we use i mean even if you go on one hour time frame most likely you're gonna get this uh, quite similar structures why we use four hours time frame because we don't really want to confuse ourselves guys you don't really have to go uh, on the market on an uptrend like this you sell you buy you sell you know that you, you you're gonna just increase the chances of you losing if the trend is pushing up look for those buys just look at this just look at this trend from november let's say first of november now we are even closer to uh, at the end of december the market is still flying the market is still pushing to the upset and we might still reach april next year or even june while the market is still pushing to the upset so why do you want to buy sell buy sell you're just confusing yourself or you're adding more chances of you losing if the trend is pushing up just make it simple wait for the market to give you something then we keep doing what we keep pushing to the upset simple as that anyways uh, as long as the market is still respecting our support uh, support area we are still a bullish and we're not going to change that so and it seems like this might uh, actually give us some very nice bullish momentum for quite long why we know that next year we have some chances that they might decrease uh, or they might cut the rates in the u.s so that will give other pairs uh, a room to breathe you see the market will have a room to breathe so even if they don't really cut that, we uh, maybe around January, Feb, they might cut that maybe after, uh, let's say, around second half, let's say, after June or let's say, around June. Maybe, maybe. But as long as we have that clue, that is everything. That is everything. So now we are on this uh, Euro USD. What's really happening? We can see that the market is doing its thing. It's uptrending. But where we are now, it seems like we have this crazy. We have this a stronger uh, resistant it seems like the market is respecting that um yeah the market might play around this but i'm still expecting to see the market breaking out if we don't really see the market breaking out here obviously the market might go towards the support area and push the upside if not the market uh, i saw someone said kenzo you're talking like if not most of the time yeah simple uh, so i see the market also breaking this area if the market is not going towards this support area right uh that's what i see but what we know is whether the market is going down and respecting that or maybe the market we are on an uptrend don't don't just focus on this smaller move and say oh i see a downtrend hey the market will punch you the market will pound the, the, just to reduce the loss guys try to focus or try to learn uh how the trends move because once you learn about that you don't really care much about smaller movements you don't really have to go on five minutes just to take trades. You will make money today, then tomorrow you lose everything. You make money today, then you lose everything. That's not how you're supposed to trade. So you have to understand your time frames, uh, how the way they work. And bigger time frames, they always work very nice, you see. So just imagine when you see a, a downtrend here because you are, you are on a smaller time frame. You will hold, then two minutes later, the market is going against you you see a smaller downtrend here once you just enter then the market just goes against you which is going to be painful and you will think or uh, the market doesn't really like you or maybe god doesn't really want you to make it i don't think god really understand i don't think god maybe will stop god won't stop you especially if you are uh, consistent and disciplined you'll just do your own thing so on gold, yes, we can easily see that, yeah, the market is still on this uptrend. This is what I'm expecting. I'm expecting the market to keep pushing to the upset. 
But where we are, where we are, we are on this resistant and we don't really have enough momentum. So bullish momentum is not really there. Downtrend momentum or bearish, it's not really there. That's why we just see the market playing around. So yes, uh, when that comes back, we will see the market flying. We will see the market going very nice. But what I see here, I saw something. Maybe you also saw that. Let me remove this, guys. It's been there for quite some time. It's no longer. Oh, it's fine. Leave that. So we can have something like this here. So which makes our chart to have uh, what again? This thing wedge, sort of a wedge. You, you see that even on one hour. So I drawn this on four hours time frame. It still makes sense on 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 a smaller time frame. Even if we go on fifteen minutes, you will understand why. And you just have to master this. So whatever that you do on four hours time frame, it still has to make sense on a smaller time frame. So if you saw a downtrend on four hours time frame, what I'm trying to explain, you should also see the same thing on 15 minutes time frame, 30 minutes. So your time frame doesn't really have to change every time you change the time frame. So this is what we see. The market is giving us this resistance. We have the support. So which means the market is just playing around here. So we'll be waiting for the market to break this area, but we're not going to sell. We are on an uptrend unless if maybe you just want to, you just want to hit and run. You can do that. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm ready to wait for the market to go a little bit lower so that I can have some proper bullish momentum. Because sometimes on a bullish momentum, the market can break here a little bit and turn anywhere. Because the market is actually on this uptrend. It can bounce any any time, anywhere without respecting any structure and just continue pushing to the upside. So that's what I see. But if it breaks here, I will just wait. Maybe the market will reach this level of support. Then we can say, okay, the market did sell very well. Now it's time for us to do what? To buy. Remember, we buy low. We buy low. So you don't really have to buy when the market is crazy high. So now we are on uh, US 30. What's really happening? Now our US 30 is on a very nice uptrend. You can see we're coming from a, an aggr aggressive sell. Now we are pushing to the upside. I like what the market did here. I did not really even see that. I just saw it now early, early in the morning. So we can easily see that the market just sold. I like that. I like that. I like this uh, uh, this uh, reversal there. Just look at this. What was happening, guys? What was happening? So now we have a nice buy pending order. I'm expecting the market to reach this level there. But this is not like um, a wall. The market is it's a resistant. It will be our next resistant. But the market can still go... Uh, through that and push to the upside so that i use this as my take profit but i'm still expecting the market to do it to continue but as uh, the market has to move proper yes the market might respect that maybe we will see the market pushing up down something like this but for now it seems like maybe we might have a very nice reversal so we will be ready to take this so when tomorrow when we come back and say oh we did eat one two three don't act like we did not really see what we did here. We already analyzed whatever. And you can see this uh, trade is not really activated yet, but it's going to be activated. And later on, we might be around this and we will be eating very nice, you see. So, and I think these are the last moves that we're going to have this week. Uh, I mean, this 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 month, I think we, these are the last moves. So what do we see here? I see some very nice structures going up and down i like this reversal let's try maybe to draw a support guys let's try maybe to get a support maybe 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 it will make sense or maybe let me just go on a smaller time frame just to see maybe we might get something uh, 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 uh. you see that is that is very steep and if i draw it like this it's not going to connect with other structures that much Ta -da -da. so to me i don't really see it as something like that all right i think this one makes sense but we need to be careful and always update this because i think it's the weakest support 
so the market can break out so if you just use this as a solid one you're gonna get confused when the market is coming towards here because you will not actually know what to do and once the market breaks you might sell to find out that the market maybe is going to come back around this area and push the upside so now we don't really have a proper support but as we are on an on one hour i think this reversal to me it gives me a proper a structure to say yeah maybe it's a good time for me to do it to look for a buy when i draw this support here yeah, to me they are not making sense there's so many structures that we can check so at the end of the day you'll end up getting confused so the best way is to do whatever that we're doing here as we are on an uptrend i'm expecting the market actually i'm late we're supposed to get around this level so just because i'm late uh we're gonna get it here we do Guys, don't stress when you missed a small chance. Don't stress that much. We can still get in and still make money. Or even the market can go even higher, you see. So there it is. So I think maybe we also have something maybe on, on S&P 500. Please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. You see, when we go back on that four hours time frame, it's, it looks like it makes sense. It's not really that bad. So on S&P 500, I think on S&P 500, it's much, much better because if we go on a smaller time frame, you will see that we have few touches. You can see this area. We have a few touches there. That to me, it makes sense. Unfortunately, as I repeat, I, I saw this little bit late, but now our order, I think it's about to be triggered and we might eat and maybe that will help uh, us to buy a few booze. Uh, this december so th that we don't really touch our pockets so anyways don't forget that we have uh, this 10 day special uh, this is no longer available sorry it's no longer available and these are only 2023 20, prices guys so six months you can save uh 50 dollars on this other ones you can save 100 dollars. so which means on six months you can save 50 dollars which means you pay 100 dollars 12 months you're gonna pay 150 and lifetime you're gonna pay 250 only for 10 days until 31st uh, then after we celebrate new year uh, then we'll upgrade our our services so you can scan this qr code or use my whatsapp number or you can use the link in the description then yeah you can just let me know so thank you uh, very much for watching and enjoy your christmas guys enjoy your christmas and new year in advance so yeah thank you very much i will see you on the next one bye